Hey guys, Monica Kelsey with Safe Haven Baby Boxes. I wanted to give you guys some awesome news on September 10th of 2019. Today is a good day. Um, remember, uh, we had three blessings last month uh, where three boxes in the state of Indiana went live um, and operational, uh, allowing a woman in that community to surrender uh, in one of our boxes if she chose to. And I'm happy to announce that on Friday, September 6th, um, we had a surrender, a legal surrender, um, in um, Franciscan Health of Hammond's Hospital baby box. Uh, that one went live on August 7th, and we got a baby on September 6th, which was less than 30 days of that box being operational. Um, this is the third baby we've had in less than three years in our boxes just in one state. Just, just imagine what we can do when we're in all 50 states. Um, that's going to take a lot of support and a lot of uh, prayer to, to get that done, but we're working hard to do that. Um, this also makes baby number 59 um, through our program. Um, we've had 59 women come through our program with the help of our hotline in our boxes. Um, this mom did not contact the hotline ahead of surrendering her newborn, um, but she has been in contact with us since then. And this mother is not from the state of Indiana. She is from the state of Illinois. Um, and this was important to us when we decided to launch close to the Indiana line because um, Illinois does not have a safe haven baby box law. They have a safe haven law where you have to walk in and physically hand the child to a person and they're going to ask you some questions. Um, but they don't have the baby box law, which offers 100% anonymity. So when we put the box there in Hammond, right on the, um, Ohio or the Indiana and Illinois line, it became clear, um, that, women in, in Chicago needed this option because we were getting a ton of calls from Chicago and Illinois. So um, Indiana has uh, officially uh, been the, the best state in the country um, on education awareness and giving women options to not illegally abandoning their child. Uh, the last dead baby we had in our state was in uh, December of 2014, which was baby Amelia. A lot of you guys know her story. Um, she was found in Indianapolis, uh, Pike Township. And um, that's the last dead baby that we've had in our state. And that's due to education awareness, us being in the schools, us educating our first responders. There's so much that goes into what we do that not one thing would work if all the other wheels weren't turning. So we have to continue to do what we're doing, and that takes financial support as well. So if you can financially support us, please make a donation today so we can continue to save these lives. Um, prayer, prayer is huge. Um, we can get through every day without prayer because the devil constantly attacks us. Um, but, you know, it's, it's amazing that um, we literally are saving babies one box at a time.